on her Zoom account. <gasps> okay. Okay. So no. someone, Luya. All right. All right. I'm muting. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So, um, just wait, wait. So, should I start over, or just keep going? I would keep going. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then let's keep going. Let's. Yeah. This can drop down to there. <clears throat> I'm just using some yellow ochre to kind of uh, do this little drawing with some terps. And. Um, I'm kind of putting in the vase. Uh, also Beacon looking pot. at the negative shape between the flower that's sticking out and the vase and the wall. It's also stems highlight area is going to be sort of there. And we've got this little hair. And it's cast shadow. Big cash shadow. And hmm. probably should have shown the setup. Maybe we'll do that at the end. Um, I did take a picture of it last night. So, now this side of the bouquet, you can see, is in shadow relative to this area is receiving the light. And I would say, what's this yellow, unopened lily? It's almost like taking the star of the show position. The form shadow of the pair, again the cast shadow of the pair, there's some shadow kind of there, and of course all this is, I could have put that in as a tone, but I, yeah, it's sort of like not deciding what I'm going to do with that right away. I like that option. Also, hmm, think, well... Mix up this um, color of those flowers, the pinkish ones. Put some white, put some medium, put some orange, put some cad yellow deep. And just sort of indicate where I want those. It's 
So I'm seeing them more as a linear element than individual little flowers. And there's some there. To get darker kind of in here. Almost more of a reddish purple back here. I think I'm just going to put them in as dark and one thing. And now, let me put that away and move on to put in the stems the dark stems. You don't want them to be so, yeah, don't want them to be that dark. Yeah, why not? Mm. Mm. That has some Prussian, Prussian in it. And again, this a lot of kind of darkness in here, even though there's some white flowers, they're turning gray. I'm just gonna put in the shadow on a pair and even the cast shadow, just put that same. Maybe go a little bit lighter. You can throw that in. And then I'm going to lose this brush for now and move on to the background. Hmm. So, I, to me, right now, this background is looking kind of purple. And luckily, from the last painting I did, I have a bunch of leftover purple. So, there's some, I forget what that's called, but I'm going to mix it with some gray and just kind of throw it in very loosely. Two little sharps just because it's faster and thinner. And of course, this is kind of going into the vase too, so I'm going to just go right in and make it part of the vase for now. And it looks a little bluer. So I'm going to, right over here, I'm just going to kind of do that on the base. I think I'm going to put the top, no, I think we'll do that Prussian and a little of this violety, mauvey blue and some gray. And I need more of the solvent free gel that's better. and let's see i'm gonna do the bottom of the white flowers and the top of the flowers the white flowers here and maybe indicate the wall or the bottom of the white flowers And there's a little bit of a white flower by itself there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put this in. I can always put some more accurate color in as we go along. 
Even lightly put it in and then go for the highlight. Uh, finish this. Now on this side, it, I'm seeing it as a little more neutralized, a little more gray. So I'm going to put more of that yellow ochre, a little more of the gray. Maybe even more, some, some leftover weird yellow that I had. Just... Keep it similar in value, but it seems like the light is making this side of the wall a little more yellow. Just... Hmm. This pair. That there. Some white, even. And then up here it's looking a little blue, so I put out some Prussian. This and I'll kind of do that back there. A little Prussian blue. green of the table. So maybe take some cad yellow, some medium, some this green earth lake that needs to be neutralized a little so put some orange in it. Put some leftover yellow stuff. Maybe a little more green, a little more green. Probably some yellow ochre. Let's try that here. Hmm. And for now, I think it's okay. some terps just to get it in okay this color actually now that I'm looking at it would be great for those unopened lilies so I'm gonna make more of it really go crazy with that I like it and even some use up that dirty yellow a little bit of this dirty yellow some of these more, that more yellow piece that I saw here. No, these are all different. And just to get them in, you can kind of just go for the similarity. Deal with the shadows and the modulation after I get it in. Just have something going on. Hmm. And I like that for the top of the pear, too. And I don't mind that it's getting a little dirty because it just desaturates the, the color a little bit, which makes it a little bit more realistic. And put this down for a minute. Let's put that highlight. and see what happens if we put this highlight. Right there. Do it with a palette knife since the paint is pretty wet right now. There's another little highlight there. Then a little highlight there. It's really bright, <clears throat> so I might need to come back and hit that even more. I think even having a little of the red, maybe not quite that much, but there's something sort of like pink in that light. You lay that down and maybe put some more pure white or on or yellowish white on top of that. 
to really get that highlight to pop as it is in this setup. Hmm. I also see a little bit of that green, that wild green poking through down here. I'll just kind of throw it in. Maybe not quite that wild, but yeah, for now, just a indication of something or other. The top of the pear gets a little greener too. Maybe not that green, but something like that. Okay, so the white flowers, they're not that pure white either. They look a little, little pinkish, mauvish, something or other-ish. I don't want, I want them to look white. But maybe, maybe I will lay in, well, this was the bottom part, was the shadow. Maybe put some of these, hmm. Some of these. They look kind of warmer right where they're getting hit by the light, right in there. And I've got some weird colors mixed in, but I think it gives it a little more depth. Some stuff up there, there, there. Hmm. Put on my glasses for a minute so I can actually see what I've done. Uh, hmm. Need more white. Let's just kind of indicate these and this. Okay. I'm going to pause this while I get more white. Okay, so that's uh, kind of a natural breaking place we can um uh -huh. oh yeah if anyone has any questions um or if not i'll uh i'll go on to the next um hmm. might have to get some help to how to get to the next video but um does anyone i'll tell you what think about if you have a question i'm just gonna see how to get to the next video while you're thinking about that So I think this video was made, oops, mute. It says mute, unmute. I think this video was made um, a few days ago. So we can ask her when she's available, if she has um, an image of the, of the vase itself that she's painting. Someone asked about what medium she's using. And are anybody, oh, Carol, are you back again? I'm back. I'm, I'm back. I was just trying to like see how to get to the next video. I think I know how to do it. So okay. if anyone has any questions, I can or else if we want to just take advantage of the fact that I my tech support is here, I can do the next. That was um that was 18 minutes. The next one's 23 minutes, and then I have a one minute, and then then we don't you know then I can just I know how to use Zoom. Hey Carol. <laughs> also, yeah. Do you happen to have an 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 image of of what you're painting? Like yes, I, I I do. Um, should I show it now and then do the video? Oh, that might be. I can see some heads nodding. Okay. <laughs> and then um, they were asking what size is the painting you're working on? Okay, it's fourteen by eleven. Um, let me let's do that. Is that did that? No, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh. Okay, so I was you you took me off uh, as the host. No, you're still. Oh, that was your phone. Your phone was the host. Yes, my phone needs to be the host to show what's on my phone. Right, and that's and 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 I didn't change anything, but I don't see your phone. Is is that no? That's a three one area code. No. Oh, there's your phone. I see it. 
I need to spotlight my phone. I think I think if you just find your picture on your phone and then do that share video thing again, it might. Oh. Oh. That might be. Yeah, she she'll have to do share screen again. Yeah. From her phone window. Okay, it's counting down. Okay, now. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now. Yeah. Okay, that's the that's the thing that I'm working from. The a photo of what I was working from, and wait, so and then um, how do we get to the final painting? Just so they can kind of see. Uh, let me let me see if I. It kind of wound up, is that? That's kind of how it ended, I think. So is that good? And now I can come, go back to the video? Is, uh, unless anyone has any questions now. That's, that's yeah. So in 20 minutes, um, and it'll look like that. <laughs> So I'll give you 20 more minutes. Magic. <laughs> Magic. Well, thank you, Carol. We're 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 at we're watching and waiting. Okay, Answer. so uh, okay. All right. So um now what? Go back to go back to this. This. And then some of that time to mix up the dark for the Pinky, pinky flowers there. Actually, it looks even more purplish, especially in here. <clears throat> the more dark than light, you can always put the light in on top, but we get the dark happening. And you know, it's not urgent where they get placed if it keeps me from you know just being light and spontaneous with it it's kind of some shadow behind from this lily and there's some more sort of sneaking in up there Sneaking in there. I didn't mean to do that, but you know, it's fine. I think um, there. a little more I don't want to do too much white or too much dark to will kill the vibrancy of this you know this pink is very hard to get with oil I think it'd be easier with acrylic <laughs> some of them are really dark I can barely see them even with my glasses temporarily on back there. Okay. Just wipe this and put it down. I'm putting some of the darks of the lilies, especially these back here. Oh, that's really dark and kind of too green saturated, but for now, it's okay. You can always go back. And this is either a dark foliage or dark wall or dark something. So the main thing is to get the value in. It's kind of another dark piece there. And then something mixed with um, this yellow and more a little yellow ochre kind of there too. And then go back to a strong light springy green 
up here. I'll have that yellow in there later, but and this is all dark, kind of dark. Get some blue, get some Prussian, get some wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, again, I'm just more interested in the getting the sense that this stuff here is in shadow. Even the white is kind of getting lost in the shadow. There are some white hits in here that I try to get in. It's definitely going to be a challenge now that uh, it's covered, but It's dark down here and some some notes I don't help the highlights stick out also what it doesn't just cover it completely all right this is almost more purple bands but got the dark green in my hand so I'm gonna go with that for now Ah. Now we'll go pick up some purple, purple, blue, Prussian, little medium. Hmm. Oh, I said. Maybe kind of get that in. A little darker on this edge. And then some stripes of the vase let's go around see we can kind of spring up it's kind of these lines that are the design of the vase that we can maybe get a little more light into the vase. Just kind of sense that it's glass. What is this? This could be, this is some light, um, buff white. It's a little grayer because the glass is still mostly in shadow of the basically of the background you know it's kind of whatever background background there's some sky holes background i want it to be actually a little lighter so this stands out a little more of that gel there. And hmm. wall, break up some of these. some of that thin thinness that we had Let's see more light in the glass more light there kind of almost getting lost on that side too <clears throat> this needs to be dealt with um, 
so get some of that green but it's got a lot of warmth in it so put some of that uh, yellow ochre hmm. transition, maybe the reflected light, maybe the sim. Hmm. And then put some more light, but also that yellow ochre in the front the boss it's sort of losing the white canvas back to putting in the <clears throat> the uh, cast shadow of the pair And the stem and the stem is casting a little shadow and this is getting pretty dark on this side especially down here there we go it kind of wedges itself there let's fill that in Lot, the most light is right there. So I'm going to clean this brush and try to indicate that. Get that yellow, maybe even mix some, some, some white, more yellow, white, a little green. And where's my solvent free? Just bang that in. I also feel like this top of this pair is very warm and light. So I'm gonna just put that in and then it translates up to that side. Okay. And now that we have that, let's throw in these light accents on the lilies. Bye. There, 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 and you know, I'm going a little wild here, but why not? Okay, let's get a little more yellow off in this one. I can almost make this one just go off the edge. Um, some of these have more white. I'm getting some white, some yellow, some are more warm yellow, some are more cool yellow. Kind of picking up the the pair some different variations in the pair. I think it'd be good if there was more, a little more warmth in that bottom of the pair right there. And that same thing might be good if I had more paint mixed up to kind of smush into these white flowers and put there's some that are getting white even though they're over in this dark area 
just a question on which ones um, like that these are actually light really getting some some warm pinkish glow down there these are more subtle over here um, and these ones at the top might be a little more mute, muted. The buff titanium is good. And they're very light but and warm. I can use this messy leftover paint to have some of them kind of uh, look like they're going back in space a little. These need to be darker. And I'm going to put another that. That didn't work. Okay. Another little bit of more pure white, like just kind of in there. And then worried about giving it some shadow later, but Hmm. Yeah, you know what that would be good for is the highlights. I'm gonna hit those again. And there's a little bit of yellow showing through in there. I don't want to call too much attention there. Hmm. I was thinking about those top ones oh, and also there's there's a little pinkish cad yellow deepish highlight right there too yeah. <coughs> okay put down the palette knife for a minute Go back to the brush. I'm gonna dig up some of this Prussian and go in there and just kind of carve these shapes out just for a little more variety and I guess a little too regularized, but. Um, make this stuff really pop you have to kind of go a little bit darker around around it again like I said this all of this stuff is getting a lot of shadow a lot of shadow I'm taking even a little black over on this side. Be fun to mix the black with yellow to get some of these greens too happening. the junk calls the junk calls I hope you can't hear that but they are incessant <laughs> relentless I'm just popping in some more white flowers and yeah and so you know just have a feeling of spring and these little flowers and there's maybe sense of the wall breaking through there maybe this kind of coming in there 
some dark in the bottom of these white flowers it's just it's like frosting cake it's another highlight there another highlight there sort of gets a little bit lighter in there somewhat down here see this some warm coming through on the bodice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some some warm kind of yellow ochre down there. Well, be good to step back and see what the heck's going on, but we don't got time for that now. Um, I don't want to bore you guys to death. Let's see if we can just kind of put some variation, some sky halls. Not that I see very many of them. And this, this up there. It's a little bit of um, the water line showing. Kind of lose the edge there, maybe lose it there. I see a little bit of fun pieces of green. Poking through down in the vase. But that green is not very strong. So it's not doing much, but maybe that's just as well. Because it's a subtle, it's a subtle effect for sure. Didn't want to get the bottom of that vase a little more nailed down. So what can I do? Um, you can just throw some something down there. And there, it's kind of got a little base, and then. This is dark, darker than the vase right in here. Makes the vase stand out. I'm not going across because I actually see this corner of the table and I like doing strange things like that. I'm not quite sure why. Probably have to go back and analyze my childhood to figure it out. Um, let's see this, 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 yeah, it's a little bit of light coming in back there. Yeah, maybe I'll put that in, but it's very quiet and subtle. I don't want to draw too much attention over there. Aha. Uh -huh. I think... I need some little more yellow, so I'm going to stop the recording again and maybe just do a little bit more. Okay, so one more. <laughs> Let me see if I can get back to. Ah. Okay.
Okay, so I took some of that time to mix up the dark. All right, so uh, during the break, I decided that it's a lot easier to paint while I'm not trying to talk at the same time. So I, I did add some extra little flourishes here and there. Um, and uh, you missed them. But, you know, I hope you got the idea of my approach, such it is, as it is. And, um, of course, if you have any questions, I'm hoping we'll have time for that. And basically going to stop talking now and uh you get maybe we'll get a shot of the setup and my palette also thrown in here Let's see what i can do about that um yeah, it's fun to keep puttering but i'm gonna call it done okay bye i mean see you in a minute Okay, um, so just the, this is, um, that's my palette for what it's worth. And this was the setup again. And I think that was when I, right after I finished the demo, but I actually went back and worked on it some more. So I think actually, yeah, I think I took it to that. Just um, I actually did two more, so I can kind of show you. That was the start of the second one. Um, there we go. And that was the middle of that second, or maybe that's the finish. I don't know. I don't remember. It's kind of another another shot of the painting and the setup and the palette. And so I think I, I did, I worked on it more. Um, just trying to get a little more finesse. And this is the second one. So this one's only uh, 12 by nine. The other one's 14 by 11. And then the, the lilies opened up, <laughs> which was, pretty spectacular and unexpected and so I did something with that too um that's the start start of um that and then um and then I think that that's not quite the end oh but that's all I uploaded I worked more on this one too but that's kind of it so let me um I think hold on and I'm gonna get out of this altogether. Um, well, actually, hmm. Uh, yeah, hold on. I would think if you want to keep it up, it's it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so non-technical. I'm afraid to push buttons, you know. So, thank you very. So, time for any questions. I know uh, Tamara asked about your yellow that you were using that was warmer. In yeah, I said I, I said that it was yellow ochre, but you know any yellow will make things warmer. Um, I think at that point I was using yellow ochre. And you know yellow ochres are very different depending on the brand. Some of them are redder, some of them are greener. So you know, that's an important thing to consider. But generally it's a yellow, so it's somewhat warmer. Um, well, yes, it is nice to keep getting, because they're not cheap, you know? Like, definitely want to get your money's worth out of those bouquets. So I, it was really nice. I, I, I didn't believe the guy when he said they would open. But for once he was telling the truth. <laughs> Um, so any other questions or 
This is this is off the topic of your um, your demonstration just now, but reading your bio about having paintings in in like Eddie Murphy's show. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't like Will Smith's movie. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, well, that's what happens when you're down here in Southern California. You kind of get get um, wasn't just that I. Um, I didn't even know about the show House. What's the name of the guy who stars on that show? You Laurie or something? Oh, I think he just passed. Bob Bob Saget, wasn't he on House? Yeah. He was in my high school. Oh, really? Oh, wow. My my graduating oh, oh, class. Oh, no, we're talking about House. The one about the doctor. Oh, the, that's the other house. Yeah, the other house. Anyway, I had a whole like I, I had a whole episode where I had about twelve paintings in that episode. It was a big exciting thing, but at the time, that was like an Emmy award winning show, and I didn't even know about it. So the person who hired me, she said, "I'm going to take you into the director now, and don't be intimidated." I said, "You know, I'm not <laughs> because I didn't even know anything." So. <laughs> but yeah. So was that was there something else to that question? Or some other question? No, I'm just I'm just curious about about that. Just you know, it's it's just something that I don't know about. Maybe other people know about it here, but oh how to you know it's been years. Um because actually that thing with house, even though some decent money for that. Usually you don't. The woman who did sometimes it, it was crazy. I'd have to truck the paintings there and they'd appear on the show and then I'd get like a check for $12 or something. I I, I mean it was like why they even waste the stamp. Um but that I, I actually did get thousands of dollars from that house show. But it was just I don't I don't remember how the first person found me, but then I found the place that was doing it. And I, the woman was carrying some of my work. And then I happened to stop by and I showed her some portraits and they needed a portrait artist at that point. So they called me. Yeah. But it didn't, it didn't end well. And so she never called me again. <laughs> It was, it was about 14 years ago. Oh my God. So Tamara would like to know what kind of paint you're using. It's, you seem to use it pretty thick, she wrote. Oh, it's oil. And some of it's, I mean, they're all different brands. Oh. Everything from, you know, Utrecht to Vasari to, I mostly don't have Old Holland, but I mean, yeah. That there, are, I have a lot of tubes of paint from just painting most of my life. So I have just tubs of, you know, a tub of red and a tub of blue and a tub of whatever color and, you know, 20 tubes of paint in each tub. I don't know. Just, I just think it's important to use a lot of paint though. Um, and it's not. You know, on a, on a relative, I, I used to paint much larger, and, and sometimes I do. On these kind of small, to me, these size, the size, that's a very small size to work. And um, so you, I don't think it uses that much paint. You know, I don't think it's that expensive to layer it on, on a small canvas like that. Mm. So. Somebody. So some others can unmute yourselves for asking questions if you like, but Tamara also asked, does it take a long time to dry when the painting's so thick? Uh, you know, yes and no. I, here's a whole thing with drying. I mean, just, just to, to the point where you can ship a painting, it's some, it could be a few days to a week to two weeks. I mean, it's kind of dry in Southern California, especially now, it's, but not today. It <laughs> rain today. But um, it generally dried pretty quickly. Although I have actually 
have some paintings that I did about 40 years ago that when I tried to clean them, some of the phthalo um, actually came off on the rag. I mean, I just didn't even believe it. So they, some paints never dry, <laughs> ever. But mostly they dry in a few days. And yeah, it's true. The thicker it is, the longer it's going to take to dry. Do you use any varnish or anything? Um, sometimes I sometimes I use a medium that has a little bit of dryer in it, but those those tend to be a little bit toxic, and I'm trying to get away from that. So that solvent free gel, I don't think it has dryer in it. So no, I don't. I don't really think about it that much. I have to, I mean, if I, if, you know, my paintings were like, you know, at, at a point where I do them and then someone buys them that day, I, it would be a concern, but unfortunately I'm not quite there with that. So I don't know. I, I, I haven't had a problem with it in terms of, you know, the only problem would be if somebody wanted it and I have to ship it, and that just hasn't been a problem. I mean, at the point where someone's wanted it, it's been dry enough. And with the thick paint, sometimes oh. I build a little crepe for it so so that nothing touches it. So at that, at that point, it sort of doesn't matter how wet or dry it is. But usually the top layer is dry to the touch in a few days. Mm. So one of our members asked if you had other images of your paintings you could show us since your phone's up on the screen. Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I'm not sure how this, this is the thing where we had to create a special album to be on this. And I, I don't think I can switch from this to let's say my Instagram, but if you want to see my paintings, you know, I post pretty regularly on Instagram. And that would just be, um, oh, well, let me see if that works. Huh, no, it will take me out of Zoom. I don't think that's gonna, I can't, oh, he's gonna do it. My tech support. I hit, what? No, what do you mean? I think so, oh, Bert's helping you. Her tech support's helping. I have to close that and then it'll take, kick me out. When, that, I'm in Instagram now, that's what it's showing. So I, it will kick me out. I'd have to close this. You yeah, I don't think I. Yeah, well, if you want to figure it out while we're, while we're. But anyway, you can go to Instagram. It's just Carol Steinberg. Um, maybe you shouldn't show that. <laughs> that's our. That's yeah. Carol's <laughs> being very kind with like my mm -hmm. challenges today. So thank you. And everybody here, it's not always that challenging. I don't know. It's not really that hard of a job to volunteer for or do. It's kind of fun. I mean, it is fun for me to talk to the artist and get to be involved. But Carol, are you also on Facebook? I think you're muted. Oh, you know what? I think you have to unmute your computer. I, I did, I did. Yeah, Carol Steinberg Studio. This is my um, Instagram. If, yeah, it's not moving. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, there's there's my photo. Oops. So you can you can find me there. Missile. Oh, oh. Whoops. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not what it looks. I don't know. I lost. It's showing the wrong thing. But. Do you also? Um, it said in your your bio about plein air painting. Do you also paint as thickly with with paints as you do as with the still life? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't, change, I don't change my approach. I mean, whatever I'm painting, unless I'm using a different medium, I don't. It's not at the same place. That's a different, now you're at home. There you go. No, but that's not showing you one thing. It doesn't matter. Forget it. No. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. Okay, anyway, there you go. Some of my Instagram. I'm afraid to touch it now. I didn't put up the last Lily King, but 
anyway, um, yeah, I, I have the same approach when I go out plein air painting. They, I don't think, oh, now I'm outside, I shouldn't paint as quickly. So, so you also do that with um, figure painting as well? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I like thick paint. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, to me, it's one of the reasons to paint. I, I like I like brush strokes. I like the colors. I like pushing the, you know, a, a lot of paint around. So yeah, I, I don't understand. I, I, I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but I, I don't understand really control tight, smooth. That, that's just not me. So we were asked um, if you use black. I, I think you mentioned that while you were painting. Yeah. Oh, well, I said I would mix the black with the yellow to get a green. Um, but yeah, I, I have nothing against black. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I remember a long time ago, I had a teacher who said, I mean, um, that, you know, maybe Manet used black. I don't know if Monet used black, but I think you have to be careful with it. You definitely, you don't want to just use it indiscriminately, like just as like a lazy person's way of getting a darker color. But I, I, I think it has its place for sure. You also have taught art. What was, what was the most challenging part of that? That was that to college students? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have taught everything from kindergarten to college and challenging. I mean, it doesn't even begin to cover it. Some of the, I mean, some of my teaching experiences were really nightmarish. Some of them were really good. A lot of them were really good, but the nightmares were definitely there. I don't know what challenging, I mean, in the end, um, uh, the college I was at, a different chairperson took over and it was like a big personality clash. It was awful. She questioned every single thing I did. She believed that drawing on the right side of the brain was a communist plot. I mean, it was, uh, it was sick insane. So that was bad. And then, um, I mean, I taught in South Central Los Angeles. I remember um, around the time when the, the uprising riots, whatever, the whole Rodney King thing. And um, I remember, you know, kids coming in with their faces busted up or they did art and somebody would rip it up. I, I mean, there's a lot of sad stories, but I think we should talk about something uplifting. I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a happy story. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. I, I, I stopped teaching about five years ago. So it seems like a long time. Even though I did it for decades. Seems like some other lifetime now. Mm -hmm. I like teaching. Um, but I, I think it, it's more fun to teach people who really want to learn than maybe people that are just there because they have to be whatever reason. All right, well, now is your chance to ask another question or so <laughs> for our members there or unmute yourself and if you have something to say or to add. I think I scared everyone. <laughs> I don't know. It's been, it's been a long, uh, time and thank everybody i thank you for your attention and all the technical difficulties <laughs> and then i think um nancy might be in touch with you about the recording to see how to manage that we don't need to discuss it here but <laughs> i copied you both on an email together mm -hmm. Nancy, Nancy uploads for everybody who's here. I don't know if you know that we have a YouTube channel for Central Coast Art Association. And a lot of our videos that we've been able to do on Zoom, we are able to post up to this, up to this channel. And Nancy, who's here um, also in the meeting, uh, 
she she's able to do that for us. So thank you so much, Nancy, and everybody watch them. I mean, there's what what a great resource. That's amazing to me. So now we're losing people. Now it's just down to <laughs> it's down to you and me. Oh, there's there's a few more, but thank you so so much, Carol, for today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And others are saying that too in chat as well. We enjoyed your demo coming from a watercolor background. It was interesting to watch you manipulate the thick paint and others have said thank you also. So thank you so, so much. And um, I'll let you figure out the recording part, but thank you, thank you. And um, thanks everybody for coming. We'll see you later. If everyone leaves, Let's see. I think I think you're the hostess right now, so you can maybe turn it back over to me, or uh, I don't know if that's possible, or you can have just everyone leave. Um. Well, okay. So, and Nancy's not here. She's my she's my whiz. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We have um. Hmm. All right. Um. Stop yeah, you can stop recording. Okay, so, all right, we, I mean, I guess there's a couple people.